Okay, quiet. Thanks. Why are you the spotlight? I'm not spotlight. What are you doing? What are you doing, Dad? Hey guys, welcome back. Prado 150 out of here. Just going to put you over to Lockie. He's going to tell you all about this car he's got that you can see behind us. Over to you, Lockie. I'm going to say that. So I'm not lying. In a land far, far away. We went out one day to buy it in the cooler, and this is what we ended up with. Perfect. Over to you, Lachlan. <laughs> Perfect. Gonna be here to drop. Okay. You're on, mate. Go. No. Stop picking your nose. Go. We've got plenty of bloopers already. Oh, yeah. Just, nah, start again. I've got bloopers, I'll mate. I'll come in again. Go. G'day, guys. Welcome back to Prado 150 out of here. I'm here with the um, the new rig. So, um, it's a Mitsubishi Challenger. Um, funny story. My mate went down to pick up an intercooler and um, found this in the backyard and few weeks later it's in my backyard so it was a bit of a bargain. What Every was the cooler for? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Alright so what you see is pretty much what you get that's what I've got. Um, we'll start from the front so it's got some ARB spotlights, um, ARB ball bar, a king's winch I think. Um, Scrub bars, rock sliders, fat staino, um, and it's on 33s, muddies, got some pretty good tread. Come around the back, got an ARB rear bar. Um, and, and it's pretty good. The boot's a bit of a challenge to open and then we've got the stereo also we've got cutting board and a fridge slot have you got a bit of junk on there and if you come in close we've got all the electrical works we've got a water pump on board so um, it came with uh, some nice drawers, a little setup that Guy made homemade. Um, pretty good. Works a treat. Um, that's for our air compressor because there's something, uh, there's a little surprise for you on the inside. So, suspension, we got some leaf springs. Don't know the kilo rating or whatever. But we got, I think they're two inch springs with some old man EU shocks. And we got one inch body lift. And it's about it, Crunch. The car's oh, rocking. And Don't we just knock. got a water tank too with a pump. With a pump. With a pump and a awesome. switch. All right, so as you come on the inside, you'll see some beautiful STI seats that the guy has put in before me. Um, I tell you, they're, they're really comfy. So, and then, if you come in, you'll see there's rear lockers. A couple of magic buttons. A couple of magic buttons. So the, we got front auto lockers and rear air lockers. We've also got a red up brake booster which um, will come in handy, and yeah. Come in handy for me? Yep. For your dad? It's pretty roomy in the back, actually. Um, I won't be really taking many people around, but got lots of charging points around the place. There you go. And yeah, good project car. All right, Lockie, so what's the best part about this car, mate? What made you buy it? Well, as you can tell, we're all into our full drive. So when I came across this and saw that it's got all the bells and whistles ready, um, I asked him how much and when he told me the price, I was like, well, that's my budget, so, you know. So how much did you buy it for? I bought it for about five grand. Ah, uh, nice mate. So it's, it needs a few little um, touches and a bit of like maintenance jobs around the place, but I've got the time and, you know, I'll keep saving, so. It'll be good fun to learn with. So tell us, open up the bonnet and show us what's under there. Show us the, um, show us the compressor. Your hand. Oh, it's his aerial. 
That was Chris! <laughs> oh, that was you! Alright, go pop the bonnet. Now, you guys starting with... You, no, so this is how you do the engine bay. This is what happens when you make videos. Around, go to the exhaust and just give it a house. give it a rev or two at the exhaust, and then go right oh, We'll have a look at the engine dad, bay. Dad, 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 dad! You got to do a cut scene of the exhaust. He's got to do a cut scene of the exhaust. How to make a video with your with your kids? Oh. I can't find the hole guys. Alright, engine bay. So this used to be a 3 litre V6 and the guy said, that's not enough. Let's get a 3.5 litre V6 in here. Does it fit? And it fits and that's what it is. That's what it is, eh? Alright. What you got there, Lockie? If you take a peek over here, we got the yeah. ARB air compressor. Nice. So that's for the that's for the air lockers. And the pump's big enough that you can put a lead to it and pump all your tyres up with it too. Nice. So it works alright mate, the uh, pump? Yeah, it works great. Awesome mate, awesome. Alright, nothing much else on the hill, isn't it? Wait, what What brand is that? I don't know. It's got lights on there too. Far out. Where? Alright. I'm going to get the drone up yet. Oh. Well, quick, get no, someone else to hold To the end the video, you need someone sitting in a chair and going, Oh well, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Prado 150 out here. And but if your video, if yours is going on it, I can't, you know, you got welcome to and he's got welcome to. You say the same thing every start. How was my chair? So guys, I just thought I'd, uh, this is some very raw video making here. When you're trying to do a rig rundown of your son's new car and you got the peanut gallery in the back there. But hey, I just thought I'd show you. I thought I'd show you the raw trying to make a video with your family. <laughs> oh, yeah. Push your flights. Is this a King's order or what? What's going on here, boys? This is the, this is the outro. All right. Go. Okay. Right, yeah, guys, that wraps up the end of this rig review of the Mighty Charger. Cheers to Lockie to get a new car. And um, let us know in the comments what mods you reckon we could do to this thing to make it even more capable than it already is. Did, did someone say Barraswap? We'll catch you on the next one, eh? Cheers! <laughs> what do you say, Josh? Mum! His socks make him look like he homeschools his kids. <laughs> it looks like Cameron. What am I saying? This better, this better take under 10 minutes because mine took like late back in the back. Well, what did you say? I just said, G'day guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do a rig review of the Bravo. And then, and then you cut. And then I just went, let's get straight into it. Starting at the front, we've got an ARV Nova. Chris and I also drive a Mitsubishi. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a Prado, hey? <laughs> and Lachlan, you need to ask me, don't get the car in it. You need to go. Chris, what are you making? Chris, what are you making? I'm making a Mitsubishi Challenger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>